Hello, hello, hello. Yes, yeah, so today I'm going to be showing you how to change the uh, strings on this kind of tuner. Do you see it? It's the old style that Fender used in like the 60s, um, and then they kind of went away from it. Well, this is uh, um, this is the the custom or whatever you want to call it, Squire uh, Jazzmaster. The the dinosaur model kind of junior um, but it has those tuners on it and they can kind of drive people nuts so I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to do it because there's not a whole lot of these tuners that people still use usually people swap them out but if you have these vintage style tuners here's how you change the string on it um, so let me get some strings I'm using sit strings out of out of Ohio I'm in Western PA so these are kind of like the local string support local um, let me go ahead and show you how this works. So, I'll take this. I've already done a couple of the strings here. So, I'm going to be putting the, the D string on. So, you put it in down here just like normal. Just string it up through. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're actually going to take it. You're going to kind of measure one, two posts above where you want it to be you're going to snip it there. So you're going to take your, uh, take your pair of dikes and snip it right there. One, two. So we'll snip it. Boom. Done. And then all you simply do is just stab it down in the hole. It goes down pretty deep. And just give it like a strong like 90 degree pull. And you're going to want to tuck it up. Grab it with your pinky right there at the nut. And then just go ahead and tighten your string while you're kind of applying the pressure on the side of the tuner. Just do that for a little bit. Once it gets going, it's not going to want to pop out. The thing is, people that don't hold these in place, they'll want to pop out on you. It'll drive you nuts. You'll be like, I hate this tuner. But this makes it super easy. It's light work. And it's almost done. Make sure that as it's as it's tightening, that it's actually not overlapping on itself. There we go. Just tighten it on up, and it's a non-issue. Okay, so that's all there is to it. So you can just tighten it up and tune it just like you normally would. Let me do that one more time, just in case you need to see that one more time. I'm going to go ahead and do my high E string. This is the last string I have to do because I already did the other ones. Okay. Now the high E, I'm going to point out that since you're already up at the very, very end, you don't really have two other ones to go to trim it. So you don't really have to trim it at all. You can get by or just have a little extra wound. But what I'll do is I'll pinch it where that post is. And I'll move it down two posts. And if you really wanted to get nitpicky, you can clip just that, just that little bit. That's if you want to nitpick it. But you can do the high E and even the B without clipping them if you need to. So again, I'll just stab it down in there. Strong pinch. No, I'm just going to hold it. So, this one I'm going to tuck underneath my string tree as well, if I can, just so it kind of helps to hold it. But either that or just do it like you normally do. And as it tightens a little bit, remember to slide it under your string tree. The 
just pinch it, say your finger.